हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल गाइस हाउ आर यू आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग थ्रू द सैम्पल पेपर ऑफ ईयर एट द स्टेज एट सैम्पल पेपर सो आई हैव हियर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ट्वेल्व टाइम्स नाइन इज हंड्रेड एंड एट राइट सो माइनस एंड माइनस विल गेट कैंसल एंड योर आंसर विल बी पॉजिटिव राइट सिंपल सेकेंड क्वेश्चन द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ स्पिनिंग अ ब्लू कलर ऑन स्पिनर इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइंड द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ नॉट स्पिनिंग द ब्लू कलर सो दिस इज वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर नॉट स्पिनिंग दैट विल बी जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स इज द फाइनल आंसर नाउ द डायग्राम शोज अ स्ट्रेट लाइन क्रॉसिंग टू पेयर ऑफ पैरल लाइन यू सी दिस लाइन एंड दिस लाइन दिस A small arrow shows that these two lines are parallel. Angle X and Y are acute angle. Write down one possible pair of values for angle X and Y. So any angle, it's less than 90. So you can write down any angle. Same because they will be same. So we can choose any. Like let's say this is less than uh, 90 is this angle. So this may be around. Uh, you can say 50 degree also 50 so your answer may be different it may be 60 it may be 70 because they are acute angle so you can mention any of these values right now draw a ring around the best description of x and y angle x and y angle are alternate angles because when you see the z shape there like this so one is on this side another one there then these are alternate angles right Chen starts with a number. He squares this number. His answer is 144. Write down the two possible values of uh, Chen starts with. Uh, so you see this. He squares the number. So you see square of 12 is 144, and square of negative 12 is also 144. So his answer is going to be 12 and minus 12, right? Now number five, the diagram shows two pentagons P and Q. We have two pentagons here. A single transformation maps P on to Q. From P to Q, write down the type of transformation. If you see, this shape has been enlarged. So this is enlargement. Enlargement because shape is bigger than the previous one. Write down the scale factor. So scale factor gives you like how many. Uh, this uh, square is bigger than. So this you see, you can choose any one side. So this you see, this is one square. Here we have one, two, and three square. So this is only one. So one times three, we have three as a scale factor. So three is the scale factor. Question number six: Carlos, Angelic, and Sofia are three friends who have some sweets. Carlos has n sweets. Angelic has half as many as sweet Carlos. He has n, so this is going to be half of that. That is n over two. Sophia has four more sweets than Angelic. She has four more than this. So that means this will be n over two plus four, right? So let's see the question. Write an expression in terms of n for. We are writing expression the number of sweets Angelic. For Angelic we have n over two. So directly you are just going to write down n over two here. The number of sweets that Sophia has. Sophia is you see here we have done n over two plus four, right? And the total number of sweets for all these friends. So total number of sweets. So we are going to add Carlos, Angelic, and Sophia's sweets. So the Carlos has n. This is n over two Angelic, and Sophia has n over two plus four, right? So n. n over 2 half n half n is again it's n plus 4 so that is 2 n plus 4 adding these two 2 n plus 4 that is the final expression right now number 7 a here is eva's calculation this is the calculation explain why eva is not correct so let's see is she correct or not so we have 5 plus 3 times 2 squared bid mass rule right So for bid mass, you are going to uh, do bracket is not there. Indices, indices is here. So five plus three times two times two is four. So then multiplication four times three times four is twelve. 
so our answer supposed to be 17 so that's not correct so what we can say that eva has not used correct eva has not used correct order of operation she just made the calculations she has not used any order of operation with mass right work out let's see uh, square root again we are going to use bit mass here so in this is first 94 minus 3 square is 9 times 5 okay so now uh, 94 minus 9 times 5 is 45 so when you subtract it 9 49 49 square root is 7 so our answer is 7 question number 8 factorize so for factorization we need to see what is common in both you see x is not there so we will have only number so both numbers are multiples of 2 and also 4 so we will take 4 out 4 4 times 3 here it will be 10 so no further simplification possible so this is the final answer factorize this also 17 and 34 17 is common because 17 times 2 this is 17 times 2 is 34 and y is common so y remain inside plus 2 so that is going to be 17 y into y plus 2 number 9 complete this statement we have these two value we don't know what is this value so um, 17 point 72 point 9 uh, can be written as 729 over wait let me write it down again Seven twenty seventy two seven twenty nine over ten divided by one over hundred. So that means seven twenty nine over ten times hundred over one. So this and this is gone. So answer is seven two nine zero. Now this answer is supposed to be seven point uh, this. So let's say x divided by one over ten is equal to. Uh, wait wait let me make it simplify form uh, we have x divided by 0 0.1 answer supposed to be 7290 so x divided by so when you take this other side 7290 times this will become 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 is 1 over 10 so 7290 over 1 1 over 10 this 0 and 0 is gone so your answer is going to be 729 so value is 729 question number 10 uh, a and b you are given two points here find midpoint of a b so a and b this is a and this is b midpoint is here in the middle so midpoint is going to be we add x1 plus x2 that is 3 plus 4 over 2 then the other one 9 plus minus 1 over 2 so this is 7 over 2 is 3.5 9 minus 1 is 8 8 over 2 is 4 so midpoint is 3.5 and 4 right now d is midpoint of c e complete the coordinates of c and e d is midpoint of c e so we have this is C, E, right? And D is midpoint. Uh, do we have coordinates of C? Okay, C we are given here. Uh, C and D is 3, 10. And C is uh, negative 5. And let's say this is, uh, we don't have this one. Uh, and E is, so let's say this is Y and this is X, right? So how we get midpoint? Like this plus negative 5 plus uh, x over 2 and this is equal to 3 the other one is y plus 8 over 2 is equal to 10 so negative 5 plus x is equal to 6 and x equals to 6 plus 5 
it's 11. So we got x as 11. So this is going to be 11 here. And the other one y plus 8 is equal to 10 times 2 is 20. So y is 20 minus 8 that is 12. So this will be 12, right? Question number 11, uh, write down the value of 13 power 0. This will be 1 because anything raised to power 0 is 1. x raised to power 0 is 1. Uh, so write this ratio in simplest form. So you have here meters and we have here centimeters. So we need to convert that 2.4 meters times 100. This will be 241 decimal place. So that is 24 centimeters so we can write it down as 24 centimeters by 45 centimeters now let's see if we can uh, simplify here sorry sorry guys i think we have made mistake here uh, so this one is going to be when you multiply there will be two zeros added here two zeros then this is 2400 zero, zero, then one decimal place this is 240 centimeters so here we are going to add 40 uh, zero more uh, so divide it by 5 uh, yeah we can divide by 5 so 5 times 4 is 20 and 5 times 8 5 times 9 here you divide both side by 5 here we are going to divide it by 3 so 16 ratio 3 so 16 ratio 3 is the final answer in simplest form uh, number 13 and the diagram shows the position of two towns a and b so we have a town here b town here uh, find the bearing of b from a i always uh, give this clue to you guys like from and uh, circle from that gives you the point where you need to go a so from A to the north line. So this is 70. And we will write down here 70 degree. But you need to put 0 here. Because bearing should be in written as 3 digit angle. Right. So second A from B. Now we are looking from B. So from B means here. So to the line. So this one is here. So this is going to be 360 minus this 110. So 0, 5, 250. So 250 is the final answer for this one. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys understood. Please like, share and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. God bless you.